Praise the Lord. So let your people, I said, praise the Lord. Niger State. Are you there? Praise the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you tonight. We bless your name. We know you are mightily present here. You are going to do wonders in every life. No disappointment tonight. No failure tonight. We pray, Lord, you shower your blessings upon everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Confirm your power in every life. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. I'm reading to you from Matthew chapter 8. In Matthew chapter 8, I'm reading from verse 5. And when Jesus was sent out into Capernaum, they came unto him and centurion, beseeching him, praying to him, begging him, and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy. Grievously tormented. And Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him. And Jesus is talking to you tonight. I have come to heal you. You are healed tonight. Saved tonight. Delivered tonight. Surprisingly. In verse 8. The centurion answered and said. Lord I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority. Having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go. And he goes. And to another, come. And he comes. And I say to another servant, do this. And he does it. When Jesus heard it. He marveled and said unto them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. I'm coming to verse 13 now. And Jesus says unto the centurion, Go thy way. As thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. Hear this one. This one is for you. Say, this is for me. And his servant was healed that same hour. The servant was healed that same hour. Tonight, I'm talking to you on the hour of supernatural connection. This is your day. And this moment is your time. The hour of supernatural connection. You see what the man did? He heard that Jesus was in town. Jesus means many things to many people. He means savior to the sinner. He means healer to the sick. He means deliverer to the sinner. He means the lift up to those who are falling. He means power to those who are weak. He's our all in all. 
and whatever you need today, he will remove your mountain. He will remove your problem. He will save your soul. He will heal your body. He will deliver you from oppression. Tonight, he will redeem you. It's going to set you free. Freedom is coming to somebody there. I said it's coming to you today. I will be healed. Say it for yourself. Saved. Say it for yourself. I will be delivered. Say it for yourself. Tonight is your night. And this day is your day. It's the hour of supernatural connection. Anyone that connects to the that connection will bring power into your life. Anyone that connects with the Lord, that connection will bring miracles to your life. Tonight, miracle. Am I talking to somebody there today? I said tonight, miracle. Connection brings miracle. Connection brings salvation. Connection brings healing. Connection brings heaven upon your life. The windows of heaven will be opened upon you today. And the doors of the power of God will open upon your life tonight. And you will never be the same. Somebody there said you will never be the same. The centurion came to the Lord Jesus Christ. He came to make connection with heaven. Because he knew Jesus had authority. Authority on earth. Authority in heaven. And he knew going to connect to heaven. If we're going to connect to the almighty God, it is through this Jesus Christ. He is the connection between us and the almighty. He says, I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm the lie. And no one comes to the Father except by me. He is the one that comes to connect us. To connect us with the Almighty. And tonight, he has come to you. I said he has come to you to make connection with the Almighty. And that connection will produce something wonderful in your life. Something supernatural in your life. Something unforgettable in your life. The hour of supernatural connection. We told the man was a centurion. He was a man of authority. He had authority over 100 soldiers. And he said, I don't have to touch them. I don't have to pull them. I don't have to drive them. I say unto this one, go and he goes. I say to that one, come and he comes. And I say to this other man, do this, and he do as it. And he said, I have control over 100 people. You have control over 100% of problems in the world. You have authority over 100% of sicknesses in the world. You have authority over 100% of evil spirits in the world. Like I say to my soldier, go and he goes, you will say to the sickness, go and that sickness will go. Tonight, that power is here. Tonight, that authority is there. And when Jesus speaks to that problem in your life, it is none. Somebody there said it is not the hour 
a supernatural connection. You are going to connect tonight. And as you connect tonight, power will work in your life. Heaven will drive away the paths of Satan from your life in Jesus' name. The hour, the time, the moment, the night of supernatural connection. As we look at this passage, there are three things we're talking about. I'm talking about number one, the hour of his salvation. Connection with the Lord brings salvation. And this is the hour. You know what the man did? I'm looking at chapter 8 of Matthew verse 5. And when Jesus Jesus was enter, entered into Capernaum. Yes, yes, Capernaum. There came unto him a centurion beseeching him. There came unto him. You see, you have to come. You want the salvation of the Lord. You have to come. You have liberation from the Lord. You have to come. You have you want forgiveness of your sin. You have to come. You want eternal life. You have to come. There is no other person that has come from heaven to give you forgiveness and to give you salvation and to give you eternal life. But he came. His name is Jesus. The angel said, you will call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. We call him Jesus because he's savior. He's the savior of the whole world. When John the Baptist saw him, he said, behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. And tonight he wants you to turn your attention to Christ. To the Lamb of God. To the one that went to Calvary and took all your pains and all your problems all your sins away. And I call upon you tonight. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Savior of the world. Behold the one that will forgive your sin. Behold the one that came from heaven to take all the punishment of your sin away and to take the pollution of your sin away and to take the power of sin away from your life. He came to Jesus because he had Jesus was around. Jesus is there tonight. Over there by your side, Jesus is there tonight. And as you look away from every idol, look away from every magic, look away from every occultism, look away from every gang, look away from any religion, and you look at Jesus because it's our all in all. You look at Jesus, it's the one appointed of God the Father. You look at Jesus, it's the one that was sent by the Almighty God to take your sins away. And tonight, as you believe him, he will take your sins away. Anybody there? I said anybody there? He will take your sins away. Now you see there are people that don't understand salvation. They think I just come and then I raise up my hand. Then I go back home and I continue to do the same thing. Continue to tell the same lies. Continue to do the same fighting. Continue to do the same evil bad things I've been doing. No, that's not salvation. Let's say somebody fell into a way and because he fell into the well, the water in the well is dirty. The water in the well is poisonous. And the water is all around him. And the water has gone inside him. 
and is asking for help. He's shouting for help. He's praying for help. Help me. Number one, somebody inside that well also who has fallen inside that well cannot help him because they're in the same problem. You know what the Bible says? All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Everybody, everyone has fallen inside that well. Everybody, everybody is under the guilt, under condemnation, under the power of sin. And yet, you as a sinner, inside that well, you're shouting, somebody there, help me. Anybody that is going to help you must be outside that well. Somebody who has not fallen into that well, there is only one person since the beginning of the world that is outside that well. Think about any other person all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Kings and princes, prophets and preachers, anybody you can think about, before they became saved, everyone fell into the well. And nobody inside that well can help you. But somebody that never sinned, somebody that never fell into the well, do you know his name? I said somebody that never seen. Do you know his name? What's his name? Tell me out aloud. Jesus outside that way. His hand is long enough. His hand is strong enough. His power is mighty enough. He is the one outside that way that can pull you out. And when he pulls you out, you will no more be inside that way. When he pulls you out, he separates you from your sin. And he separates sin from you. You become a new man. A new woman. There will be peace in your heart. There will be newness of life. There will be a change of life. But you have to come to him. The centurion came. And because he came, help came to him. As you come to Jesus tonight, somebody there is coming to the Savior tonight. I said somebody there is coming to the Savior tonight. Uh, by the way, where is he? Where is she? You will come. He will save you. He will forgive your sin. He will take you out of that well of sin today. He will cleanse you on the outside. He will cleanse you on the inside. Look up here. That person that fell into the well. All the dirty water, poisonous water, all around his body. External. And that dirty, poisonous water has gone inside him. Internal. The salvation that Jesus gives. Number one, salvation from all our external sins. All the things we have done wrong. All the things we have said wrong. All the places we have gone that are wrong. The things that other people can see. External. And that's what we confess. You come to Christ. You say, I confess I am a sinner. I have done what I shouldn't have done. I have not done what I should have done. All the external things that you have done that are not right, you confess them before the Lord. That's salvation. There is something we still need to do. There is something inside. If you are clean on the outside, but you are not clean on the inside, that poisonous water of sin will still destroy your life. That's why after salvation, you come to the Lord again. Touch me. 
Purify me. Sanctify me. Make me holy. That sin that is inside me, that is poisonous, that will not allow me to live properly. Take it out. And the Lord will sanctify you. Give me a silage. Amen. The Lord will save you today. Number one, the hour of your salvation. When are you going to be saved? I said, when are you going to be saved? He'll take that sin away. External, he'll take away. And when you go to him again, internal, he'll take that away. He will do it. I said, he will do it. For who? I said, for who? You are saved tonight in Jesus' name. Number two now, the healing of all sicknesses. Number two, the healing of all sicknesses. You see what the prayer, what prayer the man was praying. In verse 6, and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home sick of the palsy. Grievously tormented. You will see the sickness here. The sickness was caused by a tormentor. It's not just that he's sick, paralyzed, helpless, hopeless, doesn't have any strength, lying down there. You know what sickness does? Sickness does not allow you to move and to make progress. You are paralyzed by the sickness. You are incapacitated by the sickness. You are long beside by the sickness. You are tied down by the sickness. The servant was lying at home sick of the palsy. And the centurion said, This my servant wants to serve me. But he cannot serve me because he's lying down sick of palsy. Your hand was made to serve you. Your legs were given to you to serve you. Your lungs were given to you to serve you. And your kidney was given to you to serve you. Your eyes were given to you to serve you. Your ears were given to you to serve you. What sickness does is that when sickness comes upon those, your servants, my hand lies just by its side, sick, and cannot serve me. My legs are withered. One is shorter than the other. One is broken. My legs are my servants, but they cannot serve me. My eyes are supposed to serve me. But those eyes are blind. And they cannot serve me. Every part of your body was given to you as a servant. To serve you. But now they are sick. Not only that they were sick. My servant lies at home where sick of the palsy grievously tormented with pain terrible pain and he cannot think about any other thing he cannot think about service he cannot think about soul winning he cannot think about activity because the pain is so much and the pain has ceased his brain all he can think about is I'm suffering I'm suffering and then the centurion said you don't need to come to the house and touch my servants. You don't need to come to the house and pour water upon my servants. You don't need to come to the house and pour oil on my servants. Look at what he said. I'm reading from verse 8. The centurion answered and said, Lord, he called him Lord. He called him Lord. So that Jesus will be your Lord. Anybody there, Jesus will be your Lord. 
He'll be the director of your life. He'll be the controller of your life. He'll be the, the one that gives you instruction. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. You know the people that miss miracles? They're the people that say, I am worthy. I go to church. I sing in our church. I preach in our church. I teach in Sunday school in our church. I give money to the beggars. And I come an important person. I come, a person who is worthy, Jesus, you know what I've done, I've been reading the Bible, you know what I've done, since I was born as a little child, I've been going to church, I'm a church man, I'm a church woman, I am worthy, do this for me. They are disappointed because nobody is worthy for God's miracle. But the centurion understood. And the centurion said, I am not worthy. We are not worthy of his forgiveness. Only because he died on the cross of Calvary. We are not worthy of his salvation. Only because he died for us on the cross of Calvary. We are not worthy of his healing. Only because by his tribes we're healed. When you come to the Lord and you say, I am not worthy, but I'm going to be healed. Tonight you are going to be healed. Somebody there tonight, healing is coming to you in Jesus' name. And he said, speak the word only. Speak the word only. You see this centurion, he had more knowledge, more understanding than all the people in the whole nation of Israel. That's why Jesus said, I have not found faith so great, no, not in Israel. The children of Israel are forgotten that God created the whole world by speaking the word. Speak the word only. Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. Many people that go to church, they go to church, high church, low church, deep church, superficial church. They go to deeper. They go to higher. They go to lower. Any church they go, they have forgotten that God said, let there be light. And there was light. Let there be ocean. And there was ocean. That God created everything by his spoken word. And the centurion said, I remember that. Tonight, you remember. Am I talking to somebody there? That God created the whole universe by speaking the word. The Lord is going to speak the word into your heart today. You will be healed. I will be healed. Israel had forgotten when they came out of Egypt. The Lord sent the word and healed them all. He sent the word and healed them all. Many people who go to church, many people who say they are baptized in water, many people who say I'm a believer in the Bible. Before the before they ask for healing, they're looking for a bottle of oil. They're looking for candle. They're looking for white handkerchief. They're looking for somebody to touch them. They're looking for somebody to push them down. They want to fall under the spirit as they say. They have forgotten. 
that God sent the world and healed them all. And the centurion remembered. And so he said, speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. Remember, you have a servant. Your hand is your servant. Speak your word. Your hand will be healed. Your legs are your servants. Speak the word. Those legs are going to be healed tonight. Give me a good amen. You know, there is a local amen. There is a city amen. There is a statewide amen. Now give me Niger stage amen. Your ears are your servants. Speak the word. And my ear, my servant shall be healed. Your kidney. That's your servant. Your lungs. That's your servant. Every part of your body is your servant. Speak the word only. And tonight you are healed. Then he explained why he said so. He said, I am a man under authority. We are all people under authority. If you are working in an office, you are under the authority of your boss. Your boss does not have to lay hand on you. Your boss will say, type that um, paper and turn it in at this time. Our employers, our bosses control us by the word they speak. Our students are under authority, under the authority of their teachers. And the teachers direct them and teach them and control them by the word of their mouths. Anywhere you are in your family, under the authority of your papa or your mama, they direct us by the word of their mouth. And this centurion understood the power of the spoken word. And he says, I have hundred soldiers under me as a centurion. I say to this one, go. There is no argument. And he said, Jesus, you have authority over hundred percent of all sicknesses. Cancer is under your authority. HIV is under your authority. Tuberculosis under your authority. Evil spirits under your authority. And once you say go. Tonight it will go. Because that's what the son to believe. Understands to reason. And Jesus marveled. And said unto them that followed. Very liaison unto you. I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. You have that faith tonight. Point number one. The hour of his salvation. Number two, the healing of all sicknesses. How many of your sicknesses are going to be healed tonight? All 100%. Point number three, our helper in every situation. Any situation you find yourself tonight, Jesus will help you. He will help your wife. It will help your husband. It will help your children. It will help your family. We were in Lokoja Kogi stage. And when we were praying, there was this young man. He was all right. Born again. And, and, and healed and well. 
But his mother was back at home. She can help us. I could not do anything. And while we were praying, I said, if you are sick, raise up your hand. He brought the picture of the mother and raised up the picture of the mother. And we prayed. Many people got healed on that field in the stadium. And then he called on phone. He said, Mama, why the crew said here, something must have happened. Mama said, Yes, I became well. You didn't hear that one. I became well. Even though far away, but the son only raised up the picture. Tonight you are well. Tonight your parents are well. Somebody far away. God went like that. And you are here face to face. Can I see you there? Are you seeing me here? Connection. 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 You got it tonight. And those on the other side, even though you cannot see me directly, connection for everyone tonight. Our helper in every situation. And so this man said, speak the word. And I'm going to speak the word to you tonight. But they are not my words. They are the words of Jesus Christ unto you. Look at verse 13. Jesus says unto the centurion, I'm asking you, was the centurion sick? Was the centurion sick? Who was sick? I said, who was sick? And where was that servant? Far away at home. Prayer will reach you where you are. Power will reach you where you are. Healing will reach you where you are. Jesus says unto, unto him, Go thy way. As thou hast believed. It is what you believe. If you believe, I'm going to be saved. You are going to be saved. If you believe my sins are forgiven, you are going to be forgiven. If you, for, if you believe every part of my body will be healed tonight, you are going to be healed tonight. As thou hast believed, so be done unto thee. Done Done unto thee. Done unto who? Done unto who? You are well. You are saved. You are happy. You are empowered. The Lord is going to touch you today. Something good will happen to you. You will not be an exception. On my right hand side over there, healing deliverance is coming. Right in front of me here, healing and deliverance are coming. And right on the left hand side there, healing deliverance miracle coming upon you. And those people outside there, somebody is lying down there now. Healing will come to you in Jesus' name. As thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And was healed that self same hour. The man was still there in the presence of Jesus. And the servant at home got sick. Got, got healed. And you know, sometimes I see people, it's because of the way they have been taught. And they don't understand, they need to change that kind of mindset. After we have sent the word unto them, the word of power, the word of salvation, the word of healing, and we have said, Amen. Amen means so let it be. 
Amen means it is confirmed. Amen means it is done. After the final amen, we we'll say check up yourself now. They, they surround somebody who is sick. And they say, they're still praying. Oh God, oh God, in Jesus' name, because of your promise, don't let us come to shame. We have said amen, and it is done already. And as thou was believed, so be it done unto thee. Check up yourself. They're still shaking their head, and they're moving their hand. Oh God, oh God, come and do something. He has done it already. So you will not be there. And you are still praying. The servant at home. The servant at home. Was not saying, oh God. Help me. Lift me up. Satan is too powerful. Evil spirits are powerful. Help me. The same hour. That the master, the centurion spoke to Jesus. The answer came. Your answer has come. I said your answer has come. Number one, there's salvation. Salvation is coming to you there. Number two, there is healing. And healing is coming to you there. Number three, there's solution for every problem tonight. And your solution has come. What are you there? I said, where are you there? The solution has come in Jesus' name. Salvation is coming your way right now. Forgiveness is coming your way right now. Eternal life is coming to you now. Bow your heads and close your eyes. Bow your heads and close your eyes. The salvation is very simple. It's coming from Christ. And once you say, I turn away from my sin. I turn away from my guilt. I turn away from my darkness. I come to Jesus and I'm able to save me. I believe he died for me on the cross of Calvary. And the moment you surrender, give your life to Christ tonight. That salvation will come there. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Let's bow the eyes closed. If you're giving your life to Jesus Christ now, you will raise up your hand. If you say, I'm the one I need salvation. I'm the one I need forgiveness. I'm the one I need eternal life. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. That salvation will come. If you're raising up your hand, you will stand up. You're raising up your hand, you will stand up. You're saying, Lord, I want your salvation. I want your forgiveness. I want that eternal life you brought from heaven. Raise up your hand and stand up. While you're standing up there, open your mouth and confess to the Lord. Say, Lord, I know I am a sinner. I fell into that well of sin. And all the sin surrounded me. I've done bad things I shouldn't have done. Lord, I repent. I feel sorry for my sin. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. I'm sorry for my sin. I'm sorry for the evil things I've done. As you forgive me tonight, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. As you forgive me tonight, I will no more do those bad things. Grant me your grace tonight. Have mercy upon me tonight. Write my name in the book of life in heaven. Give me the transforming power. That you'll give me the power. I will no more go back to those things. He will answer your prayer. Tell him. Lord, I believe you have said whosoever comes to you, you will for no reason cast out. I have come. I believe you have saved me. I believe you have forgiven me. I believe you have changed my life tonight. He will do it. Right there, he will do it. 
And you say, in Jesus' name, you pray. Say it in Jesus' name, I pray. He will answer your prayer. I'm praying for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight. This is the night of salvation. This is the moment of salvation. You said, whosoever comes to you, you will for no reason cast out. And these ones have come. I pray, Lord, your forgiveness will come to their hearts. Your salvation will come to their hearts. That change of life will come to to their hearts. Count them as your children this moment. Write their names in the book of life. Give them the grace to go and see no more. The power to go and see no more. All things now pass away. All things now become new. Bear the witness in their hearts. They are now children of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They are saved. Their sins are forgiven. They are now citizens of the kingdom of God. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. A miracle is coming my way. I said my way. You are going to receive your miracle now. Whatever you have in your heart. Say Lord this is what I want. He knows it. He knows what you are thinking. He knows what your needs are. And as you mention it to the Lord, speak the word only. And this part of my body to sub me will be healed. How many of you will get it after the final amen? After the final amen, you check up yourself. Your miracle will be there. There is up one hand. And if possible, lay the other hand on yourself. We are ready to pray now. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your people. We all believe you. We know you cannot fail. We know your power is wonderful. And you are going to touch and heal everyone. Lord, I pray, heal your people in Jesus' name. The spirit of insanity, madness, go out in Jesus' name. That incurable disease be healed in Jesus' name. Every swelling in the body, vanish away in Jesus' name. Cancer. Be healed in Jesus' name. That mountain, the mountain of a problem, be removed in Jesus' name. Every internal sickness, every pain, be removed in Jesus' name. Those deaf ears be open and begin to hear. Dumb tongues be open and speak out. Blind eyes begin to see in Jesus' name. Broken legs, paralyzed legs, stroke, 
Be healed in Jesus' name. Every miracle you need, every healing you need, every deliverance you need, receive that deliverance right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your miracle right now. Thank you, Lord. It is done. It is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. You have got it. Check up yourself. Do what you couldn't do before. You are blessed. Check up, check up, check up yourself. Shack up yourself. It has been done. You had it pronounced. It has been done. Shack up. Blind man. Shack up. Counselors around. And as you are saying, as you are shaking up and you have seen it, you will be coming out. You will be coming out. You will be shouting, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Our counselors are there to bring you out. Don't hide the glory of God. Shake up, shake up, shake up, shake up. And our counselors are bringing you out. You'll be given opportunity to share the testimony. Back, front, left, right. You are there. Just take time to shake up and walk out in confidence. To share your testimony. We are waiting. Just have time to shake up. And our counselors, you are there to help them, to bring them out, to bring them out. And our leaders around, you also need to interview them before they come out. Do that on time. Do that, do that on time. I want in the hands of Shack up. I've been to get far case. behind. Shambaya baya. Come up. Ufito. We're waiting. Monajira. We're waiting. Monajira. Let our leaders. Shugabanamu. Let them be ready. As we share with as we share the testimony with them. Bring them, let them come forward. Let them come forward. Don't go listen and share the glory of God. And to the glory of God. We're waiting for you. Shake up. I've been to get a cow. Let our leaders bring them up after a short interview. Just to, be just to confirm. Shake up. We are waiting. We are not in hurry. And our counselors, please. Our leaders. Don't take much time. Their names. Whatever it is. Share with them. And when they are after, uh, after testifying, after seeing the genuine, let them come forward. Let them come forward. Please, our leader, be on ground to please. Uh, they are already coming up. They are already coming up. Don't hide the glory of God. Praise the Lord. I'm a saxophonist. But last, two, last year, I had stomach ulcer. So you, have, you have what? Stomach ulcer. Ulcer. Go so, ahead. So my grandfather told me not to play again, but this night I just said, let me pray about. It. I've been feeling pain. Immediately I touched the place, the pain has gone. It's my gone. Place, yes, sir. Forever gone. Amen. Next testifier. Nebiye. We are still waiting for those of us. And be patient. 
Yes, go ahead. The next testifier. Abu Daladi. Ido. Bana kwenye sote. Benda kwenye sote. Yezuka na kwenye dekio. Praise the Lord. Our brother is telling us that before he came here, he couldn't see very well. But now he can see very, very well. Praise the Lord. For how long? Jesus shekeruna ane da wan na masala ya samu. Bakoi. Seven years. Seven years. And you can see now. Yes, sir. Can you please tell us the color of the microphone before you? Yellow. Yellow. Go with your healing. Hallelujah. Seven years. Seven years. It is gone. The Lord will keep that healing for you in Jesus' name. Next testifier. You see him raising up his hand? The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is uh, Water Pastor, Pastor Water. Our daddy was here last year. I was having prostate cancer. Uh, I was relating with a um, host. But I couldn't get to, uh, to our daddy. But by the special grace of God, I did like a woman of issue of blood. I believe that if I told the, 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 the car, I would be made whole. And by the grace of God, I have access to the, 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 the car. I was made whole. The operation was canceled because I was recommended for operation at Bagulada. In fact, it's an operation that not everybody that survived it. But our daddy prayed, and by the grace of God, touching the vehicle, I was made whole. Praise the Lord! My name is Okemiri Ernest. I got an accident on my way to Kaduna. I was admitted in National Hospital in Abuja. I was discharged three weeks ago. I can't be able to walk. But today, after the prayer of our daddy, I was able to walk myself. And today is my first time walking all the way from that very side to this place without any falling. And I'm here today. Praise Glory the Lord. To God. Uh, this uh, sister is already dancing. Yeah, we are going to dance with you. That means Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Can't you shout hallelujah? I thank God for my life today. I get stroke. But when Baba starts, as I hear Baba, they come now, so I start to communicate with Baba in spirit. Mm. I no sleep today, Trout. Hmm. No sleep for me. As the Baba, they pray. He say, the last prayer, hmm. make a person check in, hmm. check your body. Hmm. As I said, this is my leg and this is my hand. Hmm. If I they work out, I they be like an imbecile. Hmm. From my stomach, the thing, go they push me, go they push me. Go, I go they work out like an imbecile. I see Baba, they say, check your body. I just, they walk out from this side to this side. I say, for where I go follow, enter here. Follow me. Now you go, know where I go follow, enter here. I come to say, as I they walk out, this is my leg, where they do like this. I know do them. Become straight. Mm. I know do them. Now, that's, that, no, no, don't go, don't go, don't go. See, see, see her running. See her running. Hey, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Now, uh, is this a daughter? Now, daughter, confirm what your mother said. Praise the Lord! See, Hallelujah. see, see, the mother is still running up and down. See, 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 see. Praise the Lord! Hey, the Lord is good. Now, let her daughter confirm it. Thank you, God of WF Kumuye. I can't believe my mommy can walk. Mm. Hey, that is the cry of joy. That's the cry of joy. Mm. She mm. never mm. believed mm. the money can walk. The mommy is not only walking, the mommy is running. 
since on April she was not balanced as in she was not even like a living soul hmm. but when we came here I can see now she's healthy by the special grace of God thank you God of WF Kumi you God continue to bless him the Jesus. God of wonder mm. praise the Lord uh, tonight I'm a living testimony mm. <laughs> for the past four years I've been a conversion patient hmm. conversion I don't have it from bed, just suddenly. Some people even said it's epilepsy. Hmm. But I thank God because I know by faith that tonight I am healed. Amen. I appreciate God because, oh, you what, are what kind of drugs have I not used? I have been taken to a lot of places, both native and medical. But I give God the glory because tonight an end has come to my pains. Amen. I'm the first child of my parents. I'm supposed to be their happiness. But the devil wants to make me a sadness to my parents. But I thank God that from tonight, my parents will see me and continue to laugh. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Next testifier. My name is Fuka Kashli Courageous. I'm from uh, Madala. Uh, on the 11th of last month, I was knocked down by a vehicle with a little child that I'm crossing. And uh, since then, I've not been able to stand like this, not a talk of walking. Hmm. But today, as the man said, uh, when he said the last amen, take a step of faith and check yourself. So I stood up for the first time. I was able to walk down from there. What are the crutches? This. this is my crutch, as you can see it. God have healed me. And I believe what he has started, he will perfect it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Miss Chidima Anoka. I live as, at SDP. I want to appreciate the name of God because my God has been wonderful. For long, my neighbor has been inviting me in this program, but I refused. But today, the Lord has arrested me. I carried a baby without no problem. But before you know, I went to hospital. They said I have five blood. Five blood from nowhere. That is how I lost that baby. Of recent again, the same thing happened. And I said, no, enough is enough. But to God be that glory. For me coming to this place today, I discovered that the pain I normally have, I pressed my stomach that Steve Lassive, that is a ice block. Now I discover that the thing, in fact, eh, I don't even know how to express it. I want to appreciate God. And for this man of God that God has used, that he should continue strengthening him from Amen. grace to grace in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Gabriel Andrew. I'm all the way from Edo State. I'm here because of a problem I have. Since last month now, I've been suffering my problem of epilepsy. Six, six months now. Six months now. Any time that my mother seen me, she used to cry. She usually should feel sad, but now by the grace of God, I'm healed. Because I know because since, since that time, I used to feel pain under my breast, but now it's over. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Let, let the woman who follow him. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank God for the God of Pastor Kumuye that take the it to him. The God of wonders. The, the God take it to him, this my sister's son. All the way from Edo State, I invite him and his mother to come to this program because I know the God I'm serving that the God can never put me to shame. Wherever they carry him to, they say uh, the enemy have pushed shame for, because, uh, for his mother's head. I say no, this is the first son of his mother. I say this boy is a slight of that family. He will not, an enemy will not ever push shame for his head. That's why I brought him and his mother to this program. I said, God, if you not touch this boy today, I will not go home. This boy tapped me, say, mommy, it's like a fist empty light in my breast. Like I said, you sure? He said, yeah, this is my breast that is always heavy and so painful. He said, nah, this pain has already gone. I said, this God has do it for me. I will climb this altar. I appreciate the time of the Lord. Praise the Lord. I can't hear you. Hallelujah. Say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Joseph Richard Perez. Testing no money number one. Since yesterday I woke up, I could not turn to the left. If I need to turn to the left, I need to turn my whole body. So when I came here today, I said, God, you are going to heal me. I didn't even put the stiffness in my mind. 
So after the prayer, as daddy said, we should shout the amen, the last one. Immediately I shout the amen. I was to look at my younger brother, cousin brother sitting close to me. I discovered there was no pain. I just turned once. He said, bros, what is it? I said, I can't turn this neck. I'm surprised. He said, thank God God has healed you. And immediately the pain is gone. I cannot turn to the left. Now turn it now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you and, see? And testimony number two. Every one week to month's end, I will always fall sick. They will say it's malaria. The next time they will say it's typhoid. So since a week now, the symptoms have been coming. When I came, I was sitting very close to the speaker. The noise was causing, from the speaker was causing me serious headache. I said, let me stand up from here. I said, no, let me stay here. If the headache did not go, one thing must go. So I just stayed there. I, when I sat there, after daddy was praying, praying, I was praying. I said, Kai, this headache is still here. It's not going. Daddy said, at the last amen, there's, just check, it has gone. At the last amen, all symptoms, the headache, everything just left me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, That's fire. Praise the Lord. My name is Olari Oyetosi. I live in Kwamba, Alagbado. I have been bedwetting for 21 years since when I've been born. I just come and have faith in God that is able to do everything. And after when daddy was preaching about this faith, and I have this faith that it's done. I have this faith that God has perfected my own life. I will never bedwet again Amen. in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. The reproach is removed. What we the the reproach is removed. Um, I'm Ode Augustine Ajije from Cross River State. I stay here in Kwamba Sluja. I've been uh, battling with fever for some days now, though I've been on drugs. So before coming to this place, I was having this stomach pain. So when Papa was praying, he said you should uh, tell God what uh, you want him to do for you. So I placed my hands there, I spoke to God. Then after Papa's prayer, he said, check yourself. I check myself, the pain was still there. So I stand, I state myself, what is happening? Is it that my own is not happening or what? I checked again, the pain was still there. So I decided to sit down. I said, let me listen to other people's testimony and then see whether I will not come and give my own. So I said, let me check it the last time. I normally notice it through my breath. So when I try to breathe, I breathe freely. I said, no, maybe because I'm sitting down. So I stood up, I breathed, and the, my breathing was very free. So I said, let me come and give thanks to the Almighty God. That Praise, the Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Another testifier is on the way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Mr. and Mrs. I'm very privileged to see our daddy today. My name is Amina. I have stroke for the past four years. When I was coming, my husband said I should carry stick. I said I would not carry. And my faith carried me. When they drove in, I was just praying between me. After the Papa prayed, I was still believing God on my own miracle. I just stood up and started going to his car's place. Hmm. Before I was, if I move from here to an inch, I would be tired. But I start feeling strength inside of me. I can feel strength. I can strength to the main road now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I know God before tomorrow he is going to complete it. Amen. I have that belief. Amen. Because I have seen Papa in my revelation. Mm. I saw him as a pure angel. All his body is full of golden hair. I saw him standing in the gates. I was telling my husband the way I see this. My only people came that will you come to crusade? I said I will not come. After a day, I saw this man of God, a full angel. Two angels were serving him food. One was serving him water. Without talking to them, in a golden chair. What is so marvelous? I was trying to tell everybody where I saw myself sitting down in the crusade. That is where I saw myself sitting down. Amen. I forced myself to come because I saw power. Papa is an angel of God. I saw him live. Amen. All his hair and his body was golden white. Amen. From his head to his feet, Amen. is golden white. Praise the Lord. Amen. I so much believe in him. Mm. 
Amen. Now, that's, that's your daughter. Uh, what do you have to say concerning the stroke of your mother? Not that we don't believe her, <laughs> but out of two. I'm just surprised because we're sitting down together. I did not see her again. I started looking for her. The only thing I saw is her hair tie. I just say, I wanted to come inside and say, Who are you looking for? I said, I'm looking for my mother. I did not see her. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Can you see? Praise what are you, what are you the Lord. She didn't know God has taken over the problem. But do you know what? Even before she came here, God has already given her information. And exactly where she, saw, where she sat in the dream. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. She got it free. Free. I can see her sweating. God has taken away the reproach. She told the husband, I am not coming with the trees. And God honor our faith. We give all the glory to God. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. You know, God is doing it both young and both old and young children. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Daniel Abiodun. I'm here to give God the glory for what he has done for me. Right from birth, I could not see from far distance, both in class, but all my friends will be using that to make jest of me. But my dad say he's going to get glass for me. He will take me to general. I say, no, you should not worry that I'm still seeing. He will say, no, no, that he's going to buy glass for me. And I said, no, you should not worry. But when I came to this program, I could not look at light. My mommy, my sister, they were showing me, see Pastor Kumi, see Pastor Kumi. But me, I said, I can't see him. The light is preventing my eyes. But after the last prayer, I saw Baba dropping the mic and mounting back to the podium. Praise the No, no, come, don't do. Wait. Look at the pulpit. Whom did you see? Pastor Kumi. <laughs> Praise! The Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My, my, my name is Bro Machi Oyobuchi. I thank God for what God used our Father in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Komui, to do in my life. Presently, this uh, program. I was having pains in my leg earlier of this year when I was in the village. Uh, so there was this uh, a sister of mine that had been a, a problem to me. So we are just we are just battling with them there in the village because they don't be they don't they are not believers. So one of my just to break the whole thing down, one of my brother he promised to make me cripple. So I don't know what he went and did. So that that week he said that and I was I find it difficult to walk. I was I, I was having swelling in my legs. The thing would be itching me, hurting me as well. So since then I've been praying, believing God, that God will take away the, the pains. But as I came to this program, when pastor was praying, now when he mentioned that that pains in your leg vanish away, I perceived that something left me. So immediately when I stood up, I, the, the pains was no more there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I thank God, and I thank God for him. And I'm praying for each and every one of us that we will all testify in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm praying for our pastor, WF Kumui, that God will continue to strengthen him, empower him, and the anointing of the Lord will continue to grow higher and higher upon his life. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Nuhu Gideon. I stay in Suleja, in Kwamba, Dabara. For the past eight years, is when I was, so for the past ten years, is when I was eight. Nobody knew about this thing. I'm having a chest pain whenever I fight with someone or play rough play or I work for a long time. The, my chest will be very, will be, will be paining me for a very long time, very severely, until I sleep or rest for a long time before the thing goes. The only people that know about this stuff is my grandmother and my mother. And my, I think my grandfather. But nobody knows. Even when I was sitting down there, I was listening to what daddy said. So I was applying to it. When daddy was praying, he said that you should mention your sickness and mention what is happening to you. So, I mentioned what is happening to me, my chest pain, my chest pain and some other stuff like admission. I need admission. So, this chest pain, 
I was even paining me there. So when daddy prayed, finish, the thing went off. But I was still shy to give his testimony. So when I was looking at people that they were praying for up to now, my mind was telling me that I should give this testimony. But if I don't give it, it will not stop. It has Praise stopped. the Lord. It has stopped. It has Praise stopped. Praise the Lord.